Hi there, I'm Jorn van Dijk and I'm a designer at Framer. Today I'm going to show you AutoCode. It combines the power of code with the ease of visual editing. Let's see how it works. The insert menu lets you quickly add layers, states and events. Let's start with a layer. You'll see code show up on the left and a layer on the right. Simply pick up the layer and move it around. You can resize it, set the border radius, or rotate it. You can hold down Shift to resize proportionally, or Option Shift to resize from the center. Everything works just like a graphic design tool. In the center is a new panel with all the properties you can edit. You can easily pick colors, add a border, or set shadows. Meanwhile, on the left side, Framer has been writing the code for us, keeping everything in sync. You choose the best way to work for the task at hand. In code, with the property panel, or directly on the canvas. Alright, let's design a photo app together with some simple graphics. We'll drag in these navigation bars and move one all the way down. You can hold down Shift while dragging to lock the direction. Then we'll drag in the photo and scale it down. We want it to sit right under the navigation. You can use the arrow keys to fine tune the position and hold down shift to make it jump 10 pixels. Let's give it a border radius and apply a filter. Now we're going to need a state. Think of a state as a variation of the original so we can transition between the two later on. All the layers are listed under the state menu so let's start with the photo. You'll see Framer is writing the state for us and immediately opens up edit mode. We'll position the photo in the center, remove the border radius and bring the color back. We're also going to need states for the navigation bars. So let's add those and move them just off the screen. As you can see, this is quite a bit of setup code and it's all written by Framer. Finally, we're going to add an event which we'll find under Insert as well. All of the events and gestures are listed here, but let's go for a simple click right now. You can do a lot of things after an event happens, but we're just going to switch between our states. We'll do that with a single line of code, which we can easily copy and paste. Let's make the animation a bit more interesting with a spring. That's starting to look nice. To jump back into any layer or state, you can click the edit icon next to the code. This makes it easy to play around with how things look and get instant feedback on how they feel. For our final demo, we're going to look at what happens when we mix auto code with some basic programming. Here's a simple loop that counts to 10. The i variable represents 1, 2, 3, and so on. Inside our loop, we're going to add a layer called photos. To get these layers lined up in a row, we need to offset the Y position and multiply it by I. We'll use images from Unsplash to fill every layer with a nice photo. Let's have a look at what AutoCode can do for us. It knows what properties contain logic, so we can't manipulate the Y position. But we can easily stretch it across or adjust the height, and you'll see the effects cascade down. Let's wrap these photos in a scroll component so we can see all of the layers and how they feel. Setting one up is easy. We're going to make sure it covers the entire screen and fill it with content from our loop. This is starting to feel pretty good. Let's add another layer in the loop. We'll call it Profile and make Photos its parent so we get those properties for free. We can use AutoCode to position the profile in the center and easily set its border, radius, and shadow. This is the power of AutoCode. It offers an interface for the visual without losing the flexibility of code. That's it for today. Thank you for watching and we hope you'll give Framer a try.